एक्सरसाइज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 2.5 सॉरी 2.4 व्हिच इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव एंड द बेस ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज 2.4 इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन एंड आल्सो मैक्सिमा एंड मिनिमा सो फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज नंबर 2.4 व्हिच इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शंस हियर द क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट is test whether the following functions are increasing or decreasing so here function is x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 16 we know well about increasing and decreasing functions so it is simple to verify that or test that if the given functions are increasing or decreasing so first we take if the given function is f of x x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 16 here it is clear that given function which is in the form of x is f of x after differentiating its first order derivative we get f dash of x and if f dash of x is greater than or equals to 0 then we can say that the function is increasing at point at that point also if f dash of x is less than or equals to 0 then, then we can say that the function is decreasing at that point x is equals to a so also here if we get f dash of x is strictly greater than 0 then we can say that the function is strictly increasing at that point and if f dash of x is strictly less than 0 then we can say that function is strictly decreasing at x at that point x is equals to a so the f of x is equals to x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 16 and we have to verify that the given function f of x is increasing or decreasing then first we differentiate given function with respect to x after differentiating we get the derivative of f of x which is f dash of x so we know that the derivative of x cube which is 3x square minus 6 as it is and the derivative of x square which is 2x plus 12 is constant function and the derivative of x which is 1 minus derivative of 16 constant function is 0. So if we take 3 common from 3 functions we can write 3 into x square minus here 3 get can common 2 into 2 which is 4x plus here again 3 common we can write 4 which is equals to 3 into x square minus 4x plus 4 we can write this x minus 2 whole bracket square and it is clear that it is clear that x minus 2 whole bracket square if x minus 2 be any real numbers which is positive or maybe negative or maybe 0 we can write this if x minus 2 be any, any real number then we can say that x minus 2 which is strictly greater than 0 or we can say that x minus 2 is greater than or equals to 0. Also we can write 3 is also positive that is we can write 3 into x minus 2 whole bracket square is strictly greater than 0 or greater than or equals to 0 hence we can write given function given a function f of x is equals to x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 6 16 is increasing functions increasing at x which is belongs to real number so the example number 2 which is function is f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube and x is a real number x belongs to real number and again here we have to find or we have to test that or verify that the given function which is a decreasing or increasing so 
if we differentiate the given function with respect to x differentiate with respect to x we get the derivative of f of x is f dash of x here 2 is constant function and the derivative of 2 is 0 minus 3 again constant and the derivative of x which is 1 minus plus 3 is constant which is the derivative of x square get 2x minus derivative of x cube is 3x square so here we can write minus 3 into 1 minus 3 plus 3 into 2 which is 6x minus 3x square so we can write it minus 3x square plus 6x minus 3 if we take minus 3 common from 3 terms we can write minus 3 into x square minus 2x plus 1 this is a part of factorization x minus 1 whole bracket square because we can write a minus b bracket square is equals to a square minus twice a b plus b square hence also we can write a square minus 2 a b plus b square is a minus b bracket square so if x minus 1 we apply bracket square is equals to square of first term which is x square minus product of both is double which is 2x plus 1 square which is 1 hence we can write x square minus 2x plus 1 which is a x minus 1 whole bracket square and we can write it x minus 1 bracket square is greater than or equals to 0 it is fixed to find square of any functions which is if x belongs to real number then we can write square of any real number is x minus 1 whole bracket square is strictly greater than 0 but minus 3 is negative hence we can write minus 3 into x minus 1 bracket square which is positive is a negative number less than 0 or we can say that less than or equals to 0 if the given functions f of x and its derivative of dash of x is less than 0 hence we can write f dash of x is less than or equals to 0 if f dash of x is less than or equals to 0 then we can say that hence f of x is equals to which is 2 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube is decreasing function is decreasing function and the x belongs to real number. So again, example number 3, f of x is equals to x minus 1 by x. And x belongs to x is related to real number. But it is clear that the value of x is not equals to 0. Hence, if we have to verify that or tell that given function is decreasing or increasing, first we differentiate given function with respect to x. So we can write given that and the given function f of x is equals to x minus 1 by x. After differentiating with respect to x we get the derivative of f of x is f dash of x. So the derivative of x which is 1 minus sign as it is and the derivative of 1 by x which is minus 1 upon x square. So 1 minus minus get plus 1 upon x square. It is clear that x is not equal to 0. And if we take any real number replacing by x, then we get the square of this number is get positive. Hence we can write any positive number plus 1, we get greater than 0. Hence we can write this term 1 upon x square is strictly greater than 0 because x is not equals to 0 is given. So, hence we can write 1 plus 1 upon x square is also strictly greater than 0. Hence, f dash of x is strictly greater than 0. Therefore, we can write given function Hence, given function f of x and f of x is equals to x minus 1 by x is decreasing is 
decreasing when x belongs to real number x is not equals to zero or we can write is strictly decreasing at x belongs to real number when x is not equals to zero question number second in exercise number 2.4 and the question which is find the value of x for which the following functions are strictly increasing it means that here given that by the given condition we can say that if the given function are strictly increasing means f dash of ax is strictly greater than 0 is given so we can write if the given condition the function which is strictly increasing then first we can take given function f of x is equals to 2x cube minus 3x square minus 12x plus 6 and if we can say by the given condition f dash of x is greater than 0 then we first find f dash of x by differentiating with respect to x we get a derivative of f x is f dash of x here 2 is constant and a derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 3 as it is and the derivative of x square which is 2x minus 12 into derivative of x 1 and the derivative of 6 0 if we take 3 common from 3 terms we can write 3 into 2x square minus 2x minus 4 and we can write this term 3 into if we take 2 common again 2 common from this whole term we can write 6 into x square minus x minus 2 so here 6 into x square minus x minus 2 is the value of f dash of x but by given condition we can say that f dash of x is strictly greater than 0 so if we write the value of is given value of f dash of x is equals to 6 into that is we can write it 6 into x square minus x minus 2 is again strictly greater than 0 and if we shift this my 6 right side then we can write x square minus x minus 2 is also strictly greater than 0. So here we have to find the value of x and the function which is x square minus x minus 2 is strictly greater than 0 is in the quadratic form. If we shift this minus 2 right side we can write again x square minus x is strictly greater than this minus 2 become positive which is 2. So here we have to find third term of the x square minus x. If we have to find the third term of this x square minus x, then first we take the half of coordinate of x. And the coordinate of x is 1 and the half of 1 which is 1 by 2. And its square is 1 by 4. Hence we can write x square minus x plus 1 by 4. If we write, if we adjust 1 by 4 left side, then again we have to adjust it right side. So, x square minus x plus 1 by 4 is a factorization of x square become x, second sine of negative which is minus, square root of 1 by 4 which is 1 by 2, whole bracket square is strictly greater than if we take a cross product of both 4 into 2 8, 8 plus 1, 9 by 4. So we can write it, x minus 1 by 2 whole bracket square is strictly greater than 3 by 2 whole bracket square. Taking square root both sides, taking square root both sides, we can write x minus 1 by 2 greater than plus minus 3 by 2 because square of plus positive 3 by 2 which is 9 by 4 and negative 3 by 4 which is 9 by 4. 
9 by 4. Hence we can write x minus 1 by 2 is strictly greater than plus or minus 3 by 2. So the given function is in form of increasing. And if we can write if the given function if function is strictly increasing, strictly increasing, then we can write this x minus 1 by 2 greater than 3 by 2 and x minus 1 by 2 is less than which is negative 3 by 2. When it is possible, then the function is increasing. So if we shift this minus 1 by 2 right side, we can write x is greater than 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 means x is greater than 2 to 3 plus 1. 4, 4 by 2 means 1 by 2. So again, if we shift this minus 1 by 2 again right beside x is less than minus 3 by 2 minus become plus 1 by 2. x less than minus 3 by 2 minus 3 plus 1 which is minus 2 upon 2 which is minus 1 means the value of x if we can write x is less than minus 1 and x is greater than 1 by 2 which is the required value of x. So here 3 plus 1 4, 4 by 2 which is 2 means we can write the value of x, the required value of x which is where x less than 1 and greater than 2. So the second one which is in question number 2 is f of x is equal to 3 plus 3x minus 3x square plus x cube and here we have to find again the value of x when function is strictly increasing. By the given condition we can say that if the function is strictly increasing that is f dash of x is 0 is given. So first we can take a given a function f of x is equals to 3 plus 3x minus 3x square plus x cube. After differentiating with respect to x, the derivative of fx is f dash of x. 3 is constant function which is derivative is 0 plus 3 into derivative of x is 1 minus 3 into derivative of x square which is 2x. And the derivative of x cube is 3x square. So 0 plus 3 into 1, 3 minus 3 into 2x which is 6x plus 3x square. If we take 3 common from these 3 terms, we can write 3 into, first we write x square minus 3 get become can common from this term. We can write it 2x and plus 1. 3 into x square minus 2x plus 1 which is the value of f dash of x or we can write this f dash of x is equals to 3 into x minus 1 whole bracket square by using the rules of a minus b whole bracket square. So <coughs> by the given condition function is strictly increasing at any points which when x is belongs to real number, we can say that f dash of x is strictly greater than 0. And we know that the value of f dash of x is x is 3 into x minus 1 whole the bracket square is greater than 0. If we shift this 3 right side, this 0 upon 3 becomes 0, we can write x minus 1 bracket square is strictly greater than 0. Or directly we can write x minus 1 is greater than 0. If we take square root both sides, then we can write taking square root both sides, taking square root both sides. After taking square root both sides, we can write x minus 1 is strictly greater than 0. So this is possible. This is possible x minus 1 is greater than 0 when x belongs to real number and the value of x is not equals to 1. So, 
we can write this that is the value of x is equals to real number minus 1 so we can write f is strictly increasing when x is equals to r minus 1 or the value when the value of x is any real number minus 1. So, for example, f of x is equal to x cube minus 6 square minus 36 x plus 7. And here we have to find the value of x when f of x is strictly increasing. So, we know that if the given function is strictly increasing, then we can say that f dash of x is strictly greater than 0. So, first we take the given function and the given function is f of x is equals to x cube minus 6x square minus 36x plus 7. After differentiating with respect to x, then we get the derivative of f of x which is f dash of x. Again, derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 6 is constant derivative of x cube which is 2x minus 36 into derivative of x1 and the derivative of constant function 7 is 0. So here, if we take 3 common from whole terms, we can write 3 into here x square minus 3 get common 2 into 2 which is 4x minus if 3 get common from this term, we can write minus 12 plus 0. So, f dash of x is equals to 3 into x square minus 4x minus 12. But, by the given condition, function is strictly increasing. It means that we can write f dash of x is strictly greater than 0. So, here, the value of f dash of x is 3 into x square minus 4x minus 12 is strictly greater than 0. If we shift this 3 right side, we can write again x square minus 4x minus 12 is strictly greater than 0. So now, we have to shift this minus 12 right side, we can write this, <coughs> that is x square minus 4x, this minus 12 become right side which is plus 10. So, now we have to find third term of this x square minus 4x. The coordinate of x is, is 4 and the half of 4 is 2. The square of this 2 is again 4. We can write this third term x square minus 4x plus 4. If we shift plus 4 left side again, we have to exist this plus 4 on right side. So, x square minus 4x plus 4 is a part of x minus 2 whole bracket square and plus 4, we can write 16. So, 16 is a square root of, sorry, 16 is a square of 4, hence we can write x minus 2 whole bracket square is strictly greater than 4 square or plus minus 4 whole bracket square. So, f of is strictly increasing. Then we can write this. x minus 2 is strictly greater than plus minus 4. And if it is strictly increasing, that is we can write x minus 2 is greater than positive number 4. And x minus 2 is less than which negative plus 4. Minus 4. So, if we shift this minus 2 right side, we can write x greater than plus 4 plus 2, x is greater than 6. If we shift this minus 2 right side, we can write x less than minus 4 plus 2, x is less than minus 2. So, here we can write f is increasing, sorry, f is strictly increasing at the given function when value of x is less than minus 2 and greater than 6. Hence we can write the value of x when f of x 
function is strictly increasing if x is less than minus 2 and x is greater than 6 which is a required value of x. So the question number 3 is same as the question number 2 but here the condition is different which is decreasing. The condition of the function is strictly decreasing. So here we have to find the value of x by using the condition when function is strictly decreasing. And first example, yeah, prop x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square minus 12x plus 6. Here function, yeah, prop x is strictly decreasing. It means that here we can write f for dash of x is strictly less than 0. So, if we have to find the value of x when function is strictly decreasing, then first we take given function, f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square minus 12x plus 6. So the given condition is f dash of x is strictly less than 0. Here we have to find the value of f dash of x. If we differentiate with respect to x, then we get the derivative of fx which f dash of x equals to 2 is constant function and the derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 3 again constant and derivative of x square which is 2x minus 12 again constant and derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of 16 is 0. If we take 3 into 2 which is right we can write 6x square minus 6x minus 12. If we take 6 common from these whole terms we can write 6 into x square minus x minus 2 which is the value of f dash of x. So by the given condition function is strictly decreasing at given points yes, we can write f dash of x is strictly less than 0 and the value of f dash of x is that is we can write 6 into x square minus x minus 2 is strictly less than 0 if we shift this 6 right side we can write 0 upon 6 0 we can write x square minus x minus 2 is strictly less than 0 now we have to shift this minus to right side, we can write x square minus x is strictly less than positive 2 which is plus 2. So here we have to find third term of this term x square minus x. If we have to find a third term of this x square minus x, then first we take coordinate of x which is 1. And a half upon 1 by 2 and its square is 1 by 4. So the third term is x square minus x. Co-factor, coordinate of x is 1. Half upon 1 by 2 and its square is 1 by 4. We can write plus 1 by 4. If we adjust this 1 by 4 left side again, we have to adjust 1 by 4 right side. So x square minus x plus 1 by 4 is a part of x minus square root of 1 by 4, 1 by 2 whole bracket square and this way I can write 4 into 2, 8, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 by 4. So it is x minus 1 by 2 bracket square is square of plus or minus 3 by 2 whole bracket square. <coughs> if we take square root both sides, taking square root both sides it is x minus 1 by 2 is less than plus or minus 3 by 2 and the function is decreasing then we can write this whole function negative sign 3 by 2 the value of x minus 1 by 2 is less than minus 3 by 2 greater than minus 3 by 2 and less than positive number 3 by 2. It is possible that when the function is decreasing order so if we adjust plus 1 by 2 whole term we can write minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 x minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 denominator become equal to minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cancel x 3 plus 1 4 by 2 this term we can write minus 1 less than x less than 4 by 2 means 2 
which is a required value of x when function is strictly decreasing and the f of x is to x cube minus 3x square minus 12x plus 6 then the required value of x in between minus 1 to 2 or we can write x is strictly less, greater than minus 1 and less than 2 means the value of x is whole terms or whole real number in between minus 1 and 2. So again here we have to find the value of x and the function is strictly decreasing means f dash of x is less than 0. And f of x is given which is 25 sorry x plus 25 upon x. So first we take given function f of x is equal to x plus 25 upon x. So if we differentiate given function with respect to x, the derivative of f of x is f dash of x equals to derivative of x is 1 plus 25 constant function and we can find the derivative of 1 by x. We know that the derivative of 1 by x which is minus 1 by x square, hence we can write 1 plus 25 into minus 1 by x square. So we can write 1 minus 25 upon x square is the value of f dash of x. <coughs> but given that f is strictly decreasing, hence we can write f dash, but f is strictly decreasing hence we can write f dash of x is less than 0 so here we know that the value of f dash of x is 1 minus 25 upon x square hence we can write 1 minus 25 upon x square is strictly less than 0 now if we shift this 20 minus 25 upon x square right side we can write 1 is less than minus become plus 25 upon x square. Now we have to shift this x square left side denominator become numerator which is x square less than 25. 25 is the square of plus or minus 5 as so we can write x is less than plus minus 5. Function is strictly decreasing f is strictly decreasing as we can write minus 5 is greater than x sorry minus 5 is less than x less than plus 5 so the required value of x when x become in between minus 5 or 5 or we can say that when x is strictly greater than minus 5 less than plus 5 so the f of x is equal to x cube minus 9x square plus 24x plus 12 and here we have to find the value of variable x when function is strictly decreasing. So first we take given a function f of x is equal to x cube minus 9x square plus 24x plus 12. So we know that f dash of x is strictly less than 0 since if we differentiate with respect to x then we get the derivative of fx which is f dash of x equals to <coughs> x cube which is 3x square minus 9 into derivative of x square which is 2x plus 24 into derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of 2 is 0. So if we take 3 common from this whole term we can write 3 into x square minus 3 become common, 3 into 2 which is 6x six, six, plus 8 into 3 which is 24, we can write this, f dash of x is equals to 3 into x square minus 6x six, six plus 8. So here, yeah, given that f is strictly decreasing, so we can write f dash of x strictly greater than 0. And the value of f dash of x is 3 into x square minus 6x plus 8 is strictly greater than 0. Sorry. Decreasing 
means f dash of x is less than zero. So if we shift these three right side, zero upon three, which is zero, we can write x square minus six x plus eight is less than zero. Now we have to shift this eight right side. We can write x square minus six x less than plus eight become minus eight. So the we have to find third term of this term x square minus six x coefficient of x, which is minus six means six half of six which is three and the square of three is again. Now we can write the third term x square minus six x plus nine. If we adjust this in plus nine left side again, we have to write this this. Nine also right side. X square minus six x plus nine is a part of x minus three whole bracket square minus eight plus nine one. So we can write clear that x minus three less than plus minus one. So if the function is in decreasing order, then we can write minus one less than x minus three less than one plus one minus one plus one. If we adjust minus plus three whole terms minus one plus three x minus three plus three one plus three so minus one plus three is two less than minus three plus three cancel x less than one plus three is four so the required value of x when function is strictly increasing and f of x is x cube minus nine x square plus twenty four x plus twelve x is strictly greater than 2 and strictly less than 4 or we can say that the required value of x in between 2 and 4 hence we can write f is strictly decreasing when x belongs to 2 comma 4 